All right, so what is intermittent fasting? We're going to kind of break down what it is, some of the science behind it, what's happening underneath the hood hormonally, what's happening at a cellular level, how it's impacting metabolism, how it's impacting your weight, how it's impacting circadian rhythm makes a huge difference, and we're going to dive into it. All right, so first off, autophagy and cellular repair is kind of the big thing I want to highlight out of the gate. That's basically your natural process of cellular recycling and repair. So autophagy has to do with your body recycling proteins. This is really important. And you require some level of fasting to get into this recycling stage. When your body is oversaturated with insulin and you're constantly eating all the time, your body is going to be more in a storage kind of place versus a recycling burning phase. Phase. So when your body has lots of insulin coming in, lots of food coming in all the time, your body's not going to be in this recycling mode. It's kind of like if you're at home and you got nothing to do for a while and you've already gotten done all your tasks and you're a little bored, you may start cleaning. You may start spring cleaning your house. That's kind of what's happening with autophagy. Your body starts to recycle and repair proteins. There's some other things that happen like telomere lengthening can happen. So some really good anti-aging benefits. And you need this prolonged period of fasting. That's why in general, like if you're just looking at eating and your everyday meals, having a length of four to five hours between meals at least is very important because that at least, even though you're not like fasting, fasting, it at least gives you a period of like five hours, no food. You're not grazing throughout the day. It's not like a 12 or 24 hour fast, but it gives you a period of time where you're not having calories coming in all the time because any bit of food is stimulating your body to make insulin and that's going to shift your body out of this recycling, autophagy, a lot of the hormonal mechanisms that we're talking about below, you lose those when you start to graze all the time. So this is important. We want to make sure we're on top of that. So autophagy is removing damaged cells. It's helping with recycling proteins. It's also reducing inflammation because when you're recycling lots of cells, you're also potentially reducing inflammation via cytokines, via in interleukins. It's improving your immune system because 80% of your immune system is in your gut. So when you constantly have food going in there, even if it's healthier food, you're decreasing your immune system having to be around things. Therefore, it can kind of rest and relax. Even if you're having family and friends over your house all the time, the fact that you can just not have anyone in your house and it's perfectly quiet, it's like, okay, I can relax. Even though they're family and friends, think of that as healthy food, your body gets to relax better. And again, that protects against lots of neurodegenerative conditions because let's face it, there's a gut-brain connection. The more stress your gut is, you can have increased gut permeability and gut permeability can increase autoimmune conditions and autoimmune conditions cause your tissue to break down faster, whether it's brain or nervous system or gut or immune or thyroid, all those things are impacted.